Hello everyone, my name is Pixel Rifts and welcome back to Minecraft for a redstone video, which is not something I do all that often, not exactly known for my redstone expertise, but I ran into this the other day and I thought, considering how important it's going to be to transport items around using water in 1.9, this circuit was going to be really useful to you. Now, I have done a little bit of research because uh, I thought I'd stumbled upon something completely new, but of course I hadn't. Some other people in the community have found it. First, I'm going to link to a video in the description where Azuma Void showcases this design back in like January 2017, so like a couple of years ago now. But seeing as I stumbled upon it completely by accident yesterday, I figured it was probably still worth making a video and reminding you about this design because I think you'll find it useful. So those of you who are familiar with redstone or perhaps have made an item sorting system or an item transport system before, you might know this circuit already. This is basically a dropper that is rigged up to spit out any items that are placed in its inventory. No matter how many or how few you put in there, eventually it will spit all of them, usually into a water stream so that it can be carried off to whatever destination you have in mind. And it does this via this little circuit at the back. This is a comparator and a couple of redstone repeaters, a fair bit of dust, and the comparator measures whether or not there's anything in the hopper. If there is, it sends a signal to this. The signal gets boosted by the redstone repeater and fed back into this clock kind of circuit, leading to this block here, which gets powered, powers the hopper and encourages it to spit out every single item it has. Now, this is fairly basic. It's got some fairly basic redstone components in it, but it is a little bit clunky. It's a little bit large. And I was wondering if it could be made faster using observers when I was messing around with this the other day, because observers, if you place them facing into each other, they actually put off a redstone pulse that is quite significantly faster than the dropper circuit we've got over here. So I was wondering if this design could be made to kind of use observers to spit the items out a little bit faster. And eventually I came up with this. And this is, as I said, a design that has been discovered before. So I'm not gonna claim ownership of this by any stretch, but I thought I might remind some of you guys that this exists because in the aquatic update in 1.13, items can move along water streams really quickly and without the need for packed ice, which was one of the things that people used a lot before to transport items more quickly. So the way this circuit works is we've got two observers here that currently aren't facing into each other, so they're not producing any kind of redstone pulse. However, when the dropper here has something in its inventory, it gets detected by the comparator. The comparator activates this sticky piston, pushing the observer up next to this one. And you'll notice that when this happens, it spits out the items really fast. And that's very, very useful for getting items where they want to be very, very quickly. It resets again after that's done. And it's also super tileable. So if you end up placing these things side by side, let's have the dropper facing upwards for this one, why not? We'll put the uh, sticky fist in there. We'll put an observer facing that way into the comparator, and then we'll put the other observer on top like so. And that's the circuit complete. So you'll find if you put anything in the dropper right there, it just starts to spit all of them out. And it also works completely independently of the one that's sat next to it. So if you end up putting, say, a ton of observers in here, they get spit out completely separately from each other. The circuits will reset separately. They're not going to interfere with each other in the slightest. And this is super useful because if you end up putting a bunch of items in a dropper and then pushing them into a water stream like so, you can see they end up going super fast towards their destination, which in this case is a hopper that's going to collect them for some sort of item sorting system. So that's just a little circuit I wanted to show you guys because I'm sure people will want to use this mechanic in their Minecraft world. But that's going to be all for this little demonstration. Hope you guys enjoyed. And of course, don't forget to check out other videos with this design because credit should go to the originators. Uh, Izuma was the first video I found. I don't know if he discovered the design or not, but probably worth sharing those around. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My name has been Pixel Riffs. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.